the ESC, General Cardiology, Continuing Professional Development Program is a comprehensive online program based on the ESC practice guidelines and the ESC textbook of cardiovascular medicine. It focuses on knowledge, skills and professional development. This video is a short introduction on how to access and use the CPD program. To access the FeePeng Learning Program, you must first log in to My ESC using your email address and password. You must then click on the area of study that you require, which is General Cardiology. Two access options will be available, and you will need to click on Purchase Access next to the ESC General Cardiology Continuing Professional Development Program option. You will then be redirected to the ESC Payment Portal, where you will enter payment details. After payment has been made, you will be able to see the program under My ESC Benefit section, but it may take a while for access to be enabled. Once logged in, you will be able to access the program via My ESC Benefit section or through the Learning Program link on the ESC website. You'll have full access to the learning courses and may also update your skills and professional development records online. The records inputted are purely for your own benefit. How to use the system? Once you've logged into the ESC eLearning platform, you'll be taken to the home page. Here you'll be able to see the latest general cardiology news, as well as the ESC programs available for you to access. At the top of the screen, you'll be able to access three tabs, the first one being the Knowledge tab, which lists all general cardiology courses currently available for you to study. The second being the Skills tab, which will be used to record cases, procedures and patient safety logbooks related to your personal tracking. Thirdly, there is the Professional Development tab, where you'll be able to upload evidence of your professional development in the form of publications, teaching, research and meetings. Let's look at these three sections in detail. The Knowledge section. Clicking on the Knowledge tab will bring you to a list of the available courses in the programme. There are currently over 260 courses available for you to complete across 27 topics. The online courses can be started at any time and randomly at your convenience. There is no predefined order. Selecting a topic will take you to a list of the courses within that topic. Selecting one of these courses will bring you to a launch page. Clicking on the Launch Course button will open a new window in which you must click Launch Course again on the course you wish to access, for example, 1.1. This will open the course in your browser, where you'll be able to progress through and complete the learning. The main course content is shown in the central panel, and there is a navigation panel on the left to help you track your progress. Click Next to start and continue through the course. Each course has Test Yourself sections, which you must pass successfully in order to complete it. You may retake the tests as many times as you need. At the end of each course, close the browser to return to the course menu. When you have finished all courses within a topic, that topic will be marked as completed. Further instructions are available by clicking on the Help button on the top right-hand side of the screen. This provides information on the course. The Skills section. The Skills tab on the Content Overview screen contains links to your case logbooks, procedure logbooks and patient safety logbooks. Here you can upload and keep track of your cases, procedures and complications for your personal record in the online logbooks. By clicking on Case Logbooks, you'll be taken to a list of topics in the programme. To add a logbook to a topic, all you need to do is click on the topic name and then click on Add New Entry. When you click on the Procedure Logbooks link in the Skills tab, you'll be taken to a similar list of topics in a slightly different format. Here you'll be able to upload new procedures to your logbook by clicking the Add Procedure button and filling in the correct information to track your procedure. Finally, when you click on the Patient Safety option in the Skills tab, you'll be taken to a new page listing each topic. Here you'll be able to add complications in patients you work with which are relevant to your practical skills. The third 
tab on the Content Overview screen is Professional Development. Clicking on Overview will take you to an explanation of your professional development throughout your progression with general cardiology. The Professional Profile component contains five categories for you to self-report activities related to your professional career and training. For networking purposes, you can share all your recorded professional activities by exporting the files in different formats or by sharing them via a URL link. By clicking on 360 degree appraisal in the Professional Development tab, you'll be taken to your appraisal screen. To send a request for an appraisal, simply click on the Send Request button at the bottom of the 360 degree appraisal page. On the Request page, you will need to input the name and email address of the colleague that you want to appraise your profile, as well as a short message explaining to him that you would like him to appraise you at this point in your progression. This concludes our in-depth explanation of how to use the ESC General Cardiology Continuing Professional Development Programme. If there are any areas of the system you are unsure of, don't hesitate to get in touch with one of our team who will be happy to help with your inquiries. If you have not already signed up for this exciting learning experience, you can find more details and sign up now at learn.scardio.org.